Thank you for listening to this guided meditation from One Mind Dharma. My name is Matthew Sokolov, and I have a new book available on Amazon for pre-order right now. And this practice we're going to do is actually a practice from the book. To learn more about the book and to find this chapter for free, you can visit onemindharma.com slash book or learn more about this practice at omdharma.com slash body. You can begin by allowing the eyes to close and taking a moment to tune into the body and see if there are any minor adjustments you can make. You don't need to be perfectly comfortable, but seeing if you can find a posture that feels sustainable, relatively comfortable. You can try using the breath to help settle into the body. As you breathe in, just reach that spine up as much as you're able, bringing some energy into the body, inviting this sense of alertness into the practice. And as you exhale, just let go. Allow the muscles to relax, the shoulders to drop, Allow there to be some slack in the jaw. You can take a few deep breaths like this. With the inhale, inviting in some energy and awareness. And with the exhale, just softening. The shoulders, the jaw, allowing the belly to soften. And we'll take a few minutes here at the beginning just to arrive in the rest of the body. You can start with the points of contact, allowing the mind and awareness to really drop into the body, the physical experience, not our thoughts about the body in this moment, leaving the judgments be and really tuning into what it feels like. Where can you feel the points of contact in the body? Where the hands are touching each other or resting on the legs? The contact of the body with the chair or cushion? The feet or legs on the floor, depending on how you're sitting. Maybe the clothes on the body. You may notice the points of movement as the body breathes itself you may be able to feel some change the rising and falling of the chest the expansion and contraction in the abdomen and stomach the breath at the nostrils, or that slight movement of the shoulders. Just asking yourself, what does it feel like physically to be breathing in this moment?
And you can bring to mind this deep intention we all have to be calm and at ease, free from stress. We don't always acknowledge this part of ourselves that wishes for these things, but recognizing that it's there, that we all want to be happy. And you can think specifically of the body. The body is a beautiful part of our being. It allows us to move through space. It allows us to feel things, to embrace others, to see and hear and taste and smell. And of course, sometimes it brings pain or discomfort. And with this intention of kindness, can offer your body a few phrases of metta. Offering the phrases, may my body be at ease. May my body be healthy. May I be at ease with the body. Finding some rhythm with the phrases and offering them slowly, trying to connect with the intention to care about our relationships with our body, to cultivate some kindness and gentleness. May my body be at ease. May my body be healthy. May I be at ease with the body. And you can begin to incorporate some open awareness with this practice. See if there's a part of your body that grabs your attention and offer the phrases specifically to this part of the body. Maybe you notice the chest moving with the breath and just offering, may my chest be at ease. May I be at ease with my chest. Maybe you can feel the feet on the floor 
and simply offering, oh, may my feet be at ease. May I be at ease with my feet. Just noting what jumps up into your awareness, any part of the body, and just offering a simple phrase of loving kindness with this intention to cultivate a gentle relationship with the body. And as you continue to sit and practice, you may notice parts of the body experiencing some discomfort, whether it's a chronic pain or a condition that you're experiencing. Maybe it's from simply sitting still this long or the experience of an itch. Whatever it is, when you notice something uncomfortable, You can offer a phrase of compassion, this quality of meeting the difficulty with a tender and open heart, simply offering, may my knee be free from discomfort. May I be present for this pain or itch. May I care about this discomfort. May this body part be free from discomfort. May I be present for the pain. May I care about the pain or have compassion for the pain.
And letting go here in the last minute or so of the phrases and the hard practices can just return to the experience of the breath in the body. Returning to this question, where can I feel the breath? Just allowing the mind and body to settle back and collect itself onto one thing. 